first look at the Oxygen OS 10 Diwali build from the OnePlus 70 on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at the Oxygen OS 10 build based on Android 10 from the OnePlus 70 running on the POCO F1. Do note this is the Diwali build security patches from October 1st, 2020. The kernel they are using is Amog 787 kernel. And in case you want to know how to install this build, we do have a separate video for that, which can be found in the pinned comment on this video. Do note custom kernels are not supported on this build and the kernels which are supported are mentioned in the pinned comment on this video. Now, as you can see, the build does come with OnePlus launcher out of the box. You can access your hidden applications. You do have the option of accessing your Google feed. Mine, of course, is loading right now. There it is. No jitters, no lags. And in case you want to change that, press and hold, go into home settings, leftmost screen. You can either enable or disable it. And in case you want to use OnePlus shelf, you have an option for that as well. And since this is OnePlus launcher, you can of course swipe down to access your notifications, double tap to sleep, double tap to wake, all these options working absolutely fine. Next up, let us have a look at the recents. There are the recents. Everything is pretty smooth. You do have the application icon on the bottom as well. So you can swipe using this as well. And you also have a button to close all the applications. As for the volume panel, this is how the volume panel looks like. The animations here are pretty smooth as well. Next up, we can have a look at the quick setting tiles. So here are your different quick setting tiles which are available on this ROM. And yes, you do have a quick setting tile for dark mode as well. Works absolutely fine along with Zen mode. This feature also works absolutely fine. And you do have a screen recorder, but unfortunately the screen recorder does not let you record internal audio and microphone at the same time. Oh, and by the way, hey Google, also works absolutely fine there it is you can see working like a boss with no issues to report and you do have the new warp charging animation as well in terms of safety net we have very good news safety net passes out of the box without having to root your device as you can see my device is not rooted right now i have installed my disk manager just to check for safety net and because safety net passes without rooting your device you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues and those of you who do choose to root your device make sure you enable magisk hide for safety net to pass and while we are on the home screen do note that this new build comes with the new weather application from oneplus and as you can see you do have the rainfall effect the sunlight effect the moon is also there so this new weather app is pretty cool Next up, we can head over to settings, have a look at the different customizations which you get with Oxygen OS. So yes, you do have adaptive brightness and it does work absolutely fine. There it is on your screen right now. You have screen calibration and once you choose advanced, you can configure it on the sRGB basis as well or display P3 wherein you can configure the warmth as well. So all these options do work absolutely fine. You also have the option to hide the notch in case you do not like the notch. There it is working absolutely fine. And in case you want to force full screen apps, you have an option for that as well. Then you have night mode working absolutely fine. There it is on your screen right now. Similarly, you have reading mode as well. And this option also works absolutely fine. Of course, you have two different options, chromatic effect or mono effect, whatever you want to use. You also have ambient display, lift up display works absolutely fine for new notifications, horizon light in the building as well. Then you can configure the font size, display scaling. You can configure your status bar items so you can configure the battery style. You have three different options which you see on your screen right now. In case you want to see the battery percentage, you have a toggle for that as well. Display network speed, you can configure the time in case you want to see the seconds and you can also configure what all icons you want to see in your status bar then you have auto rotate screen and screen saver as well next up is customization 
so in customization for starters you have three different themes which you can choose from then you can change the wallpaper however do note that the developer does recommend that you change the wallpaper from the gallery application so that the proximity sensor can work then for ambient display they have added some new styles and here are the different options which you have for your clock on the ambient display and yes all of them are working absolutely fine on this build other than that you have the option of changing the color of horizon light so you can choose between blue red gold and purple then you can change the accent color you can also select customization and color code to enter a hexadecimal code or you can use these sliders to change the accent color as per your liking you can also change the tone so you have different options colorful light and dark similarly you can change the system icons as well so as you can see right now we do have round icons let us try the square ones tap on the check mark on the top right and here it is you can see we now have the square icons you can also change the icon pack right now we are using the one plus let us try the square one check mark on the top right and here it is you do have the square icons working absolutely fine and you can also change the font so you have two different options noto sans and one plus slate moving over to sound so with oxygen os you can configure the vibration patterns for your incoming calls these are the different options which you have then you can also configure the vibration intensity and you can choose between three different options for the vibration intensity similarly you can set a ringtone for each sim card as well in case you want to and in case you want system wide dolby you do have a dolby apk which is linked in the description of this video download it and if it is not downloaded as .apk rename it to .apk and then you can install it and you will have system wide dolby working like a boss on this build without having to root your device next up we can go into buttons and gestures so of course alert slider won't work that is a physical feature which you have for oneplus devices which is not present on the poco f1 however you do have something called indianet's sound tile which will let you switch between the different ringer modes in case you want to then you have navigation bar and gestures so you can choose between two different styles the old school three button or oneplus gestures and in case you want to hide the bar at the bottom you have a toggle for that as well and of course the gestures on this build are pretty good there are no jitters and no lags as you can see we are switching between the different applications without any issues other than that in button and gestures you also have quick gestures so you have three finger screenshot as you can see works absolutely fine in case you want to take expanded screenshot you have an option for that as well of course on the current screen expanded screenshot won't work and you also have other gestures like quick turn on camera quick activate the assistant app and long press to take a photograph in terms of security and lock screen you do have fingerprint unlock super fast you do have face unlock super fast as well unfortunately it uses the normal camera on the front it does not use the ir camera and that is how it is going to be for oxygen os ports for the poco f1 in case of battery i haven't noticed any excessive battery drain however do note that you do need to give the rom a few days to settle down do not start judging it within a few hours next up we can head over to utilities so you do have parallel apps this is your dual apps works absolutely fine app locker also works absolutely fine with your fingerprint and the pin then you can schedule your power on and off you have pocket mode and oneplus labs as well and for those of you who like to game on your devices you do have the game space application it does work absolutely fine and in case you want to enable fanatic mode you have a toggle for that as well along with miss touch prevention and yes all these features are working absolutely fine on this build other than that we can also check for widevine l1 so here it is drm info application widevine is l1 on this build and we can head over to the play store and check if netflix is
visible to us so there it is netflix is available however i do not have a netflix account to check whether playback is fine or not but i do not foresee any issues with that and we can also check out the youtube application so let us open the youtube app and we can try playing a video to see if everything is working absolutely fine so as you can see live caption works without any issues and let me find a video so that we can check for playback so here it is we can try playing a video from the matrix the volume of course will be muted so that i do not get a copyright strike here it is media playback works absolutely fine pinch to zoom also works without any issues and of course you do get the option of drag down to dismiss as well and that is for your live captions which as you can see do work without any issues we can now check for picture in picture so here it is picture in picture also works without any issues and live caption also works without any issues at all on this build in terms of gcam support i have of course linked a few gcams in the pinned comment on this video and they work absolutely fine on this build as for the gestures and animations you can see everything is pretty smooth there are no jitters no lags everything is super fast we can also try accessing my google feed here it is no jitters and no lags in the google feed as well so all in all a pretty good build of oxygen os 10 for the poco f1 and in terms of thermals yes you can change thermals on this build but you do need to be rooted for that and how do you do that i have linked the timestamp to the utopia build video wherein i show you how to change the thermals and the process is the same and let me repeat myself one more time to change the thermals you do need to be rooted and you can choose a specific thermal based on your preferences whether you want good performance or you want good battery backup so that is something which you have to try for yourself and there it is peeps that was our first look at the oxygen os 10 android 10 diwali build from the oneplus 70 on the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you